Hi there, I'm Dane and welcome to my channel where we explore everything software development. In this video, we explore the Cucumber feature Scenario Outline. So let's jump straight in. First thing I want to do is show you some references and these references will be linked in the description below. But on the right hand side here, I've got the Gherkin reference from the Cucumber site. And if we scroll down, we'll find this link to Scenario Outline. We can click that, and we're at the Scenario Outline section. So we'll just read over this, but what you can do in your own time is come and explore this page and learn everything about the Gherkin language through Cucumber. The Scenario Outline keyword is used to run the same scenario multiple times with different combinations of values. And in the Gherkin language, we call those combinations examples. Another site that you can use for a reference is the Cypress Cucumber Preprocessor plugins GitHub page. If we go into the code under Cypress and then integration, these are the tests that the Cypress Cucumber Preprocessor runs. And we can see here the scenario outline dot feature. We can click that and we can actually read through this and find out how the plugin is testing that feature. We won't do that today, but these, these links will be in the description below, um, so go and grab them when you need them. For this video's purposes, we're going to be using an application that I've built called You Done Yet. It's a habit tracking application. It's built using Next.js, and I've also written Cypress and Cucumber tests for this. So we can sign in here, and in my local environment, we don't need any username or password. We can log straight in. The first page that we come to is what's called the day screen. And this is where you can view your habits for the current date, or you can go forward to the next date or back to the previous date. And that's the test that we're going to examine today. So on the left hand side, I've got the code for you done yet. And we can go into the integration folder. One thing I should mention is that these tests were written uh, quite a while ago, so they don't follow the exact structure that I've demonstrated in the Learn Cypress Plus Cucumber tutorial series, but it will be good enough for our scenario outline um, overview today. So let's go into the change selected date feature. And let's just read through these scenarios that we have. So the feature is the day screen. First scenario, see the current date selected by default. So given I'm yet to create any habits, so this is ensuring that the habit data store is empty and I'm logged in. When I navigate to the day screen, then I see the current date is the selected date. So when we first go to this day screen and I'll just hit refresh here, we can see that it's the 21st of February, which is the current date where I am. Next scenario, change the selected date to the previous date. Given I am yet to create any habits and I'm logged in and I navigate to the day screen, when I choose to change the selected date to the previous date, then I see the previous date is the selected date. So that's clicking on this button and then checking to see that it's the 20th of February. And let's look at the last scenario, change the selected date to the next date. So given I'm yet to have it, create any habits and I'm logged in and I navigate to the day screen, when I choose to change the selected date to the next date, then I see the next date is the selected date. So when we click on this arrow to the right, we can see that it goes to the 22nd. So let's run these tests. npm run, sci open. We'll open up Cypress. I've got you done yet running in the background, so we don't need to worry about that. We'll click on change selected date feature. This will show us that the tests are currently passing. And there we go. They're all passing, so we're good there. Now, the reason why I identified these as good examples for a scenario outline tutorial is because if we look at these last two scenarios, we can see that 
everything inside this scenario is the same as this, the third scenario, except for this mention of previous. It's now says, uh, says next. So a scenario outline can allow us to not repeat this code and we can provide examples in the form of a table. So let's go down here and we'll type in scenario outline. And our scenario outline title, or the scenario that we're, we're going to be writing here is to change the selected date to the something date. And we'll come back to those angle brackets in a moment. And pretty much we can just copy everything from one of these scenarios, doesn't matter which one, because everything is the same, except for these two sections here. And we'll just put those angle brackets in there. When we're writing a scenario outline, we have to provide a table of examples. And we usually put that underneath underneath the steps. And the way we provide a table is using pipes. So we need to give a name to this field that we're going to have within these angle brackets. So I think we can call it direction. The direction is going to be next or previous. So previous is the first one. And next is the second one. And then we'll take this direction value and we can think of it like a variable that gets substituted into these areas here. So what's going to happen with this scenario outline? It's going to run twice because there are two rows in this table. Well, there's three rows. The first one is the title or the name of the variable. And then there's a second row and a third row. The second and third rows are the examples. So the first time the scenario runs, it's going to grab this previous and it's going to replace it into these three sections and then run the, run the scenario like normal. And then the second time it will grab next and put it here, here, and here and run the scenario. So what we can do, we can hit save. We can go and run this test now. And we're going to see it's going to run five scenarios. One, two, three, four, five. The first three we've already run previously, so we know they will pass. And then the last two, we can see they have example number something at the end of them. Change the selected date to the previous date, example number one. Change the selected date to the next date, example number two. And they're all passing, so we know that we've correctly refactored these two scenarios into one scenario outline. So we can grab them and delete them from our code base and hit save. So let's run them again after deleting them, but we haven't made any meaningful changes, so everything should be all good to go. Very good. So just to recap, we can use scenario outline to prov provide a table of examples that will run the scenario multiple times, one for each of the rows in our table. This allows us to reduce our code and reuse scenarios when we just need to substitute into different variable spots. You can also have multiple variables. This scenario doesn't require multiple variables, but you could have another variable here and place it in there and then use it inside angle brackets in the example. So just as a reminder, the Gherkin reference, the Cucumber preprocessor, GitHub page, and the code will all be linked in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to throw them down in the comment section below. And if you like this video or any of the other content that I've put out on my channel, please hit subscribe or click the like button. And uh, let me know if you have any other features of Cucumber or Cypress that you'd like to learn about. I'm happy to create any kinds of uh, video tutorials or overviews for you. 
So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.